guys, today I'm going to show you how to pull the perfect espresso shot with a Pavoni Auto Piccolo machine. It's a lever manual machine, which means that you will have to pull the shot with your arm instead of just pressing the button in an automatic machine. This is a lot of fun, but it of course means that it's a bit finickier, so there's a learning process involved, but it's definitely worth it. I will also be using a manual grinder from Sassen House, a Brazilian model. And I'll be using the beans from my local roastery. They are single origin Arabica beans and they're washed, which means that this will give me a fruitier flavor on my coffee. And I will be using a temper, which fits perfectly on my portafilter basket. So let's get to it. Now we measure 13 grams of coffee. I find this amount to be the best for this machine. I've tried a higher quantity, but it has always resulted in an over-extracted cup of espresso. I'm using a normal kitchen scale, but if you can get a more accurate one, that will be even better. I also try to get beans from a local roastery and a roasting date no older than two weeks. So first we will be turning on the machine and while it heats up we will prepare the coffee. Now that we have the 13 grams of coffee, we're going to pour it into the grinder. The Pavoni needs a good grinder and a fine grind. I have adjusted the grind several times to find the perfect setting. I can highly recommend the Sassen House manual grinder because it's a great alternative to an electric one and it costs a fraction of it. So now that the coffee is grinded, you can see it here, it smells really good. Um, we're going to put it in the portafilter basket. Now we will temper the coffee. We just want to even out the surface a bit. We don't have to apply too much pressure, just a little bit. And then I always kick it here on the side so that the coffee's not going up the walls of the portafilter basket. And that's it. Now we wait until the green light turns off. This indicates that the machine has reached the optimal temperature. Before we pull the shot, we should release the residual pressure in the machine. Now that the green light has turned off again, we can let some water through to heat up the group head. Then we do it again, but this time with the portafilter on as well. Letting the warm water through will heat up the group head, the portafilter and our cup. We dry everything well to not alter the coffee's taste or texture. We pull the lever up slowly and steadily so that the water flows into the group head without air. Then we wait around 20 seconds and we finally push the lever down.
And if you have any questions, just write them in a comment below and I'll be happy to answer. Don't get discouraged if it doesn't come out perfectly the first time. It takes some time to and some practice to get to it. And yeah, I hope you guys try it and have fun.